Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome. I'm playing uh, a little bit of VGC today. We're using my Bokum team since I haven't actually made a video about it as, at all. Uh, I went six, no wait. Yeah, I went six three at uh, Bokum Regionals with this team. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was a fun team to have. As you can see, uh, it has like quite a few Pokemon that I do like a lot and a lot of course. Of course, the beginning is Great Tusk plus the Talent Flame. This is an amazing combo on its own uh, where you can Tailwind and just Earthquake or like go for a free Terra Ground Earthquake. Headlong Rush being a very strong single type, uh, single target attacker as well. Close combat also. Just the stabs really with the Protect and with the Focus Ash. It's very nice, it's very strong as well. Uh, just the spe special defensive side isn't that great. Uh, and it does get walled by a lot of flying types, which is an issue because a lot of things are Terra flying these days. Then we've got the talent flame. A little bit of a different set. Most people run Cover Cloak or Terra Ghost. I run Terra. Uh, this is a Terra Flying with the Life Orb. Just be trying to make sure to get some certain KOs as well. We've still got Willow Wisp, we've got Tailwind, and we've got Protect because we don't have Cover Cloak, so we are not running Taunt on this. The next Pokemon we have is our Roaring Moon. Now, Roaring Moon is Terra Fairy because it can wall a Dondozo. Um, how? Order up won't work on it, and it has the move Breaking Swipe. Breaking Swipe lowering the attack from both opponents, Snarl lowering the special attack from both opponents. So it's more of a support set uh, with Tailwind and Roost trying to stall out and bring as much support for the following Pokemon, really. We've got Mousehold, who's also more of a support Pokemon with the Terra Go Safety Goggles. And with the friend guard, making sure that my two last Pokemon that I'm about to reveal are certainly gonna survive any moves. Got follow me, Encore, beat up, protect. Encore is very nice because being able to punish any protects on Pokemon that are slower is very nice and is very useful to have, really. Next, we have, of course, our Annihilate. Annihilate with Terra Fire, making sure that it can get burned. Uh, also, very good defensive typing, making sure that I can resist fairy moves from Fluttermanes who are running amok, really. We've got Rage Face, Dream Punch, Bulk Up, Protect. The standard set with the fight, so if uh, I get a, sp uh, well, a stat drop, I will get a plus two attack. Then next up, we've got Golden Go. Now, Golden Go is very interesting because it is a weakness policy set with Terra Water. It is a bit more bulky than most... Uh, Golden Ghost and we have just the standard set but the weakness policy has been coming in clutch and has been nice in the combination with this mouse hold as well because beat up can activate its weakness policy as well and uh, it tends to survive a lot of moves that Pokemon tried to KO it with. Of course my Golden Ghost was a critic machine at uh, Bokum. Not that it got a lot of crits, it got crit a lot which was very unfortunate for me but that happens of course so let's get right into it. I do have to mention now that we are looking, uh, I am looking very much forward to Regulation C and if you're watching this as well, this weekend will be the Utrecht, Utrecht uh, special event, which I will be casting as well uh, on the VGC side. So I'm very excited for that. Please come watch and uh, any remarks or comments you can tell me afterwards. All right, as we see, we do see the Flutterbane, Murkrow, just priority Tailwind. Uh, with the Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle, okay, okay. It's a lot, Great Tusk working a lot, like, with the Talon Flame, and honestly, I might just lead the same, uh, just Great Tusk and my Talon Flame. The only thing they can really do is probably Terra Flying with the Terra and Terra. Um, of course, Booster Energy Iron Bundle will always be faster than Great Tusk, even in Tailwind. So that is a minor inconvenience to say the least. I think actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lead off with Golden Go this time around. Uh, I do really like, I do really like my Roaring Moon in the back and honestly, I think we're bringing Meatball. We're not bringing Mouse Hold this time around, I feel. I think that is fine. Uh, my Roaring Moon being able to lower attacks and special attacks from my opponent should be enough for my Annihilate to give it the opportunity to be able to bulk up or anything. Also very sorry, I am very much just got out of the shower, so uh, to record this quickly before going to Utrecht because I really wanted to bring out this video and I'm very excited. Uh, 
I'm so excited to go there and go to play. All right, we see Murkrow plus Fluttermane. This is a pretty okay lead for me, myself, if I might add, because I don't mind, really. Uh, Golugo can just protect. Well, it can make it rain, because if the Fluttermane isn't specs, I am able to survive any Shadow Ball as well. I could also just Brave Bird as well and just kill. Uh, I think what I'm thinking I'm going to do is just make it... Do I want to risk it being not specs though? Looking at his team, I don't think it's specs. And I think it's actually going to protect even. So I think I'm just going to follow suit and protect as well and just tailwind, get that priority tailwind up. Yep, that is fine. We're matching protects right now. Uh, and with my Tailwind up, if the, if the Murkrow doesn't attack me right now, I am able to Brave Bird this Fluttermane and try and KO this with a strong, strong Brave Bird right now. Going for the far play, so no priority Brave Bird anymore for me, but I am still able to go for uh, because he the Murkrow is forced to, is very much forced to... Um, Tailwind as well. So probably going into my Talonflame. If they don't go into my Talonflame, my Talonflame will bring down this Flutterman to its Sash or even KO it. So really my opponent only has choice of being put to Sash or not. We do see the Shadow Ball into my Golden Go. It's not Specs. It is Life Orb. Or it is Modest. Because uh, that should not kill. Yeah, and there it is. It is Life Orb. This is why I like open team sheets, being able to see what is going on. Uh, lot, I lost two Pokemon in my first turn, was able to get up this Tailwind at least, we know that the, uh, oh wait, Talonflame's still hanging on? Nice, alright, still hanging on, we've got the Rotom Moon with the Booster Energy being able to make sure that we are able to lower any attack or special attack from whatever's coming in, so our Annihilate can run a little rampant really. The Murkrow is using, okay, we do see Sleepy. I think I'm just gonna Brave Bird into the Murkrow. Just try to be able to kill that. And I think I'm just gonna go for a nice looking breaking swipe. Just trying to be able to lure any uh, attack from this Great Tusk as well. Making sure that my Annihilate is able to survive any move. It goes for the, it. It does go for the Protect, which does make sense. Not wanting to get killed by my Talon. We do see the Breaking Swipe come out. Let's see how much we do on the Murkrow. Because maybe we might be able to kill it. If we do plenty. I don't think... That's a, that seems to be a very defensive Murkrow. So I don't think this Breaker will even kill. We can see. No. Very defensive. Uh, we will probably see a foul play, I'm guessing, from this Murkrow. Foul play, yep. Well, luckily, because I resisted, I am able to uh, just do that, which is fine. I'm able to Breaking Swipe again. Uh, I'm thinking of just... I could Terra Fairy, looking... Because like, they lost their Fluttermane already. And I don't think Terra Fire will help me a whole lot. So I think I will Terra Fairy. Uh, so I don't get close combated, and well, Breaking Swipe won't kill that, so I think I will just Dream Punch the Murkrow, trying to make sure that that at least goes down and I can set up Tailwind the next turn, because next turn my Tailwind won't disappear, and the opponent's uh, Tailwind will only disappear the turn after. Terra Fairy, very nice also, because, uh, yeah, I don't want to get hit by close combat, really, that's the main thing. You can't really risk hitting me as well if I went for like uh, flying, but they saw already that I'm breaking swipe, so they might have gone or something like that. Okay, that is range for Dream Punch at least. We've got the attack drops, which is very nice. Close combat, yeah. That's a good Terra from me. And with the defense drops, that helps a lot as well. The Dream Punch, let's see what they have in the back. If it's Golden Go. Um, my, yeah, Golo Go would actually be bad, to be honest, because now it can make it rain. Let's see what it is. It is a Delibird. Okay, this is nice. This is fine. 
It does get the boosted energy. It can go for nice wind and stuff, but um, I think I'm fine with just going for a, another tailwind and just drain punch into the elephant because hydro pump plus headlong rush could kill me, but taking some HP back would be very nice for me. I'm Roaring Moon does have a a pretty decent split death stat, so I'm pretty sure I won't be killed from anything this uh, unless it's Terra Water Hydro Pump, I'm guessing. <laughs> What's coming my way? It is Delibur. It is Terra Poison. Alright, so I di he didn't want me to drink punch that. Okay, luckily I didn't. Uh, let's see what it goes for. It goes for the Hydro Pump into my Annihilate, doing a lot of damage. Headlong Rush into my Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon still hanging on. Being able to Tailwind now. Let's go. And now be with two defense drops. How much does this Dream Punch do? Quite a bit. Can heal quite a lot as well. Okay, and because I've been hit once, I have now 100 beast power. Reach Fist. Their Tailwind should end now as well. Uh, they still have the booster energy bundle, which is very fast, but not faster than my Roaring Moon right now. So I am able to go for a potential roost here. Uh, and I can think just Dream Punch into... Or I could reach... Well, I think I'm able to just Dream Punch into uh, Great Tusk, really. I think I'm in a very good position right now. Uh, I'm trying to think. If they protect Icy Wind... Yeah. Protect an Icy Wind, I'm guessing. But I also have the booster energy, so I'm able to roost anything off right now. And if the Icy Wind, my Annihilate will surely heal a lot of damage. Freeze Dry, it should not be you. Now I have a 150 base power uh, Rage Fist. Also very nice. Uh, which means I think I'm willing to just go for a uh, Breaking Swipe. And into a Rage Fist into the Delibird, really. Well, Delibird. I always say Delibird. Yeah, that is game. Because uh, with the drops of the Great Task, it will would have definitely have been killed, probably. He wanted to go for the Freeze, possibly. Um, not seeing a way out. He did lose that game. Well played, me. Also, I... Oh, God. I completely forgot to mention. But, like, this team isn't originally mine. Do, like... I didn't want to take credit. I'm very sorry. Forgot to mention. Uh, this is actually uh, Pengi's team that he used uh, like two regionals ago. Uh, which I really thought was really good because I thought people were underestimating Annihilate Mousehold a bit too much. And uh, just being able to have that, I think is very scary as well. Let's see. Nimona 2. Let's go. Nimona 2. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> course because we are streaming this early we have a lot of japanese opponents um we do see the annihilate mouse hold okay 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 very interesting also the garganackle uh i think i'm forced to bring my uh mouse hold and my meatball hmm. but i think i am able to lead with these two and bring mouse hold annihilate in the back being able to redirect. Brave Burst is very strong to have, of course. And I'm gonna try not to Terra with my Meatball either. So, if I Terra something, it will probably be Great Steak. Well, my Great Tusk. Just to put out a little bit more damage. Because if I Terra, uh, they have a lot of water Pokemon, and Palafin thrives on that early Terra fire that Annihilate tends to go for. So, not a good position for me. Okay, we do see the mouse hole plus the palafin. Palafin won't be able to go for any. Let's see what comes in, really. Nothing really comes in for free. So I think I'm just able to tailwind plus just earthquake, do a lot of damage. As much damage as possible, really. Uh, this mouse could be friend guard, could be potentially, uh, could also very much possibly be, what's it called, uh, technician with population bomb. Uh, ok, 
Okay, we do see that uh, Palafin did protect. We were able to do for Tailwind. I think the Smash Hope might be population bomb. Let's see how much we do with Earthquake, at least. With Terra Ground Earthquake. Adam and Great Tusk. Oh, look at that. My big mushroom head going into that mouse hole. Let's see. Ooh, doing quite a bit. Not enough. It is Citrus Berry. Ooh, interesting. Okay, let's see what the mouse hole goes for. It goes for the Taunt. Which I'm uh, honestly... I don't mind. Uh, I'm forced to go for Brave Birds, but... Brave Birds... My Brave Birds are lethal. They are very much... Very threatening right now because I am Bre Live or uh, Brave Bird. This mouse hole won't survive a second earthquake. Let's take a look. Okay, let's see. It is the annihilate. Annihilate will definitely die. It will. It will. It will be gone. <laughs> I'm sorry. This annihilate will not survive my oncoming onslaught of Brave Bird into. Wow. I'm actually surprised it even took that uh, with a few HP remaining. I am able to earthquake now as well. They're both berries. <laughs> Figgy berry. Okay. I think I'm finding the berry nice squad. <laughs> Okay, we are able to Earthquake. Just get rid of this Annihilate right now. It's gone. No more here. Uh, Talonflame doesn't have priority Brave Birds. Now the Palafin is able to come in. And I, I am forced to Earthquake still. Because the Mouse Hole will probably follow me. While the... Oh, it is Deli Bird Booster Energy. Yep. Okay, with an Icy Wind, it will be able to uh, slow me down. Won't be able to kill me. But... That should be fine. Uh, I still have my Annihilate plus Mouse Hold in the back to be able to deal with that Palafin. I'm just gonna go for another Earthquake plus into Brave Bird as well. Oh, mouse Hold is so cute. I love the camera. Now actually looking at the Pokemon as well a bit. And support Grandma in the back. I love you, but we won't always see you. Uh, we do see the follow me, so that means that my Braver will go into that mouse hold, will kill that. I should have actually close combated probably, but I didn't want to risk him be doing like the thing of what should I call it? Uh, Terra Ghost, because some delivers do tend to run that. Okay, we see Freeze Dry into my Great Tusk, doing a lot of damage, but I survive with one HP because I have the Focus Ash. And a magical Focus Ash there. Now I'm being able to Earthquake. Uh, do a lot of damage. And now they are able to kill me in return. See, them having their two water types make me sure that I made the right decision of not going for any... Uh, whatchamacallits? Uh, uh, for any Terra shenanigans with my Annihilate. So I'm very happy to see that that worked out. I will have to think what they will protect the next turn though, which is a smaller team tank issue. See the jab punch in and then probably the freeze dry. Which is completely fine. So it's now a 2v2 and now I can bring in my Annihilate. Now Wave Crash can kill my... Wave crash into high bump can kill uh, my annihilate. The thing is, I need to make a decision on what I'm gonna do. Do I just follow me? Uh, place it on the left. Um, I made a mistake earlier in the tournament uh, where I misclicked with my assault and I never wanna risk that again. So I'm gonna, gonna always put my assault on the left side. Okay, I think I can just follow me. And I think I'm just able to bulk. Ugh, am I able to bulk up once? Freeze Ray plus Wave Crash will kill me, but one bulk up will make sure that I am able to uh, heal enough damage and maybe possibly even kill something. Okay, they are going for the Terra Water Jet Punch, probably. 
Uh, Terra Water Jet Punch will Jet Punch won't KO my mass hold. Nothing. Uh, so they need to double in. Uh, I couldn't. I needed to bulk up. And now it's the protecting game, of course, because my mass hold will most definitely be go down. See the Hydro Pump. Still take that. See the Wave Crash. A bit more HP AoE. And I'm able to bulk up at least once. Now, now I have to start thinking. I think I'm gonna protect just to scout out what they are protecting so I can attack that in return. Um, what I'm thinking is they are protecting the Palafin, if anything, and just trying to chip me with uh, the Deli Bird, which would be best case scenario because then I can go for a Rage Fist into the Palafin and just hopefully kill that. So let's see what he protects, or if he just doubles up. Freeze dry. I think he's double up. No. Oh, I forgot about his. I completely forgot about his. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one more chance. I've completely forgot about his. I should have just uh, doing punch the Palafin. Yeah, this is definitely a kill now. That, wow, that was a joke. I completely forgot about his possibility. Very well played by my opponent there. Yeah. It happens. I I always forget about his. Why do I keep, like, I've done this multiple times with Palafins and I always forget about his. Sorry, my cats are going a little bit wild. Uh, let's do one more, then upload this, and then we are happy. Uh, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to reflect what I could have done differently, but mm, maybe brought my golden goal, maybe brought my uh, roaring boon even. But like, I was very afraid of the. Annihilate combo as well, so like Roaring Moon wouldn't have been that great because it can only lower stats with its attacks. And Annihilate then being able to drive off that with any watch it might call it. Um forgot a word. With any defiant boost, I do not wanna give him that. Alright, we see Ooh, we see Glaive Rush, we see Baxcalibur, we see Serulach, we see Talonflame, we see a lot of big threats. With a lot of uh tailwind just Killing and trying to destroy me, kind of type deal. I think I'm bringing Croissant again. I do like this tea because like it's so well versed. It can do so many things. Uh, this team really. I could lead if I lead Annihilate plus Mouse Hold. Actually, could. No, I delete Town of Flame plus my, my Annihilate would not like that very much. So I think I am going with this right now. Yeah. I think I'm going with this. Uh, being very real. Uh, for this team in Bokum, I use Great Tusk the least. It is one of the Pokemon I use the least because it is just a Pokemon that is very good on paper and like very to surprise your opponents. But I feel a lot of the times just it being there, opponents will prep for it. So uh, I I will make sure that uh, I can abuse the fact that they are hella prepped for it. Because Talon Flame Great Tusk at the time of uh, Bokum was like the team to beat, you know, like the read. Okay, let's see. We see Sardalage plus Mungus, which I don't think we particularly dislike. We could just Brave Bird into you, and we could just plot once. We could also Tailwind first, actually. A uh, bit of blade, ED base power. If it's live orb, we will most definitely die. But I do not want to get put asleep here. So 
I think. Do I need Terra now? Do I need Terra Fire Annihilate? I don't really need it. So I think I can just do this. I don't particularly mind that I don't have the speed. Let's take a look. Terra Wawa. A nice little phantom on top of his head. Golden go, let him go. Brave bird into a mongoose, yo. Ooh, still surviving. That's some fort for me. Because that mongoose can now spore something. And it's probably being my talent flame. Which is not good. <laughs> Alright, we were able to nasty plot. Well, they go for Sword Dance, and now a huge spore incoming, probably. Oh no, you went for Pollen Pop. This is absolutely fine. Uh, I think I'm just gonna Brave Bird you. Protect once. Yeah. I'm just gonna protect. Oh, wait, he can Shadow Sneak me. He can Shadow Sneak my Talon Flame now. Eh, but if he does, he won't leave himself open for, I guess, Golden Go. But like, it's still his best play because like his Among Us is pretty much done for unless he switches out to like nothing <laughs> that I can remember on this team uh, being able to take it. Oh, he does. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Booster. Yeah. Booster. See the Shadow Sneak probably incoming. Oh, go for the Terra Steel. I'm guessing. Terra Grass. Oh, yeah, I can break. So he definitely Shadow Sneak me because he did not want to risk me brain burning that. There's no way. Protect. Oh, into my Golden Go! Why? Oh, <laughs> oh my lord! Doing quite a bit of damage. Uh, freeze Dry will not kill me. So I think I'm just able to go for Make It Rain, honestly. Because I don't think he's gonna Shadow Snake and uh, Freeze Dry. Into my golden door. Yeah, okay, okay. Now freeze dry, freeze dry. Activate my weakness policy. Let me become plus four. Please. No crit, no crit, no crit, no crit. There we go. Bulky golden go. <laughs> Let's go. And now with this weakness policy boosted, I am able to have still after this a plus three. Make it read as well. Wow. <laughs> this is this is such a great team. I'll see it. It's a good team. I like it. Thank you, Piggy. <laughs> All right, being able to kill that now only a Mungus, uh, a Mungus in the back, and one other Pokemon. So I'm trying to think what it could be, but I'm leading Roaring Moon. They already used their boost energy. They don't have Tailwind up. I will have my Tailwind possibly first up, so I will be able to just make it rain again. Yep. Oh, you you are dead, <laughs> my good sir. Good sir, you you are done. <laughs> good sir, my my bad. This this must be said. Goodbye. You have fought va valiantly, but now you must perish. This golden go about to run up. Golden go still crazy even in this. It will probably be still crazy good in uh, regulation C. And there we go, there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And see you in Utrecht, hopefully. Come say hi if you see me. Love seeing people saying hi. And that's it. Bye. <laughs> I did forget to say, uh, to share the team that I, of course, used as well. Uh, let's put, make it, a it is a rental team. So get the code, 
you can use it yourself. It is very fun to have. I'll try putting the paste bin as well in the description down below. Have fun!